sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. You're looking at a B Tech UV 25 times 4 by 4 uh, dual band radio here for ham radio. And we're going to tear this apart. I wanted to come up with something a little bit different, and let's tear this thing apart as much as we can without damaging it because it does work. Uh, it might have 15 minutes of talk time on it. So, uh, I don't use this because I have a Yezu in the car. But uh, anyway, these are nice little beginner radios, and a lot of people use these B Techs or. Uh, any other any of the uh, other cheaper ones so coax port a little fan there your headset your data connection for, to program it like via chirp obviously your knobs here and dows your mic connector so let's get started I never tore this apart yet, but uh, there's always a first time for everything. And that might come off, but that is on mounted to the face plate. So we got four screws here in the back. So we'll go ahead and back them guys up. Now, some might ask, why do I have gloves on? I have gloves on because my hands dry and crack out a good bit. And uh, I don't think a lot of people want to see that. So, and myself included. So, we wear gloves. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's see what we can break here. Oh, that worked. All right, so we got the bottom lid made out of plastic with little grooves on it to make it a little more rugged, I guess. We have the screen here. <clears throat> Get it in the camera shot. And we have a ribbon cable, kind of like something you'd see on the Raspberry Pi for the camera. If you're familiar with them and we do have two little uh, pieces of wire there and that makes it a little harder to get the uh, screen detachable because you could pop the ribbon cable off but you'd have to cut or unsolder the wires but anyway there's the date on that and if we rotate it around to the bottom, <clears throat> here's what the inside looks like. We'll just move it around here a little bit. If you look right here, that is not the best solder job. I'm guessing them are supposed to be soldered together but could be a little bit better because there's not too much of a gap in between these two pins on this uh, <clears throat> MOSFET I think it is so we got some caps there what do we got over here? Another date, so that's 831.16. And this guy was, I guess it's on the other side, 1028.16. <clears throat> so, I'm guessing that's about all we can do without really tearing this thing apart. Uh, which that's not what we really want to do, but 
get a little shot this way. Looks like you got a little thermal paste right here. And a little heat sink. And our antenna connection. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, I didn't know what was all going to be involved in taking this apart, but uh, not a whole lot, which is good, I guess. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Speaker, obviously, on the other side there, but you'd have to take the board completely out to get to it because this is all one piece here. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.